Hi everybody, my name is Gerdy Verboert and I work with successful women, successful um, high performing women who are struggling with their own personal mountains, who are struggling with inner conflict and who are struggling, are uh, entangled in other people's expectations and I help you reset your mind, I help you design your own life map and discover what skills and tools you need and I'll teach you those skills and tools so that you can start blazing your own trail. And today I want to talk to you about uh, something that is very close to my own heart because it used to be the way that I um, used to be and that is unhappy in my own career, unhappy, unhappy in the career that you're working in right now. And unhappy in a career that you're successful in. As you can see, I am standing on a ski slope today because I was um, lucky enough to be able to change my career and start working in something that I really love to do. But before I got to that point, I was in an entirely different career and very unhappy in it too. And nobody knew. Nobody knew and I am sure there's people among you there's uh, that are in a similar position right now people um, You may and you may be one of them That is for all intents and purposes and everybody looking at you would think that to be the case Very happy very successful in a career. There's nothing to be unhappy about You may be living in a very nice house in a great neighborhood. You are going on wonderful vacations you have um, a wonderful life. Everybody looking at it would think so. And still, there are times, more times than you care to admit, that you feel totally unhappy with what you're experiencing every single day in your work. You are good at it. You are successful at it. You are, um, um, how do you say this? You are climbing the career ladder. And at times you are probably not even aware or it's somewhere at the back of your mind at least it was for me at the back of my mind that I wasn't happy and I'm hope I hope you can hear me because of course I found myself a wonderful spot to be in and then the wind picked up and it's five o'clock so there's nothing I can do about that right now I have to, uh, I told you guys I was going to be here at five o'clock so here I am and if you're here just let me know that you're watching um, say something like a trailblazer. Hi, Calista. Glad. To, I hope it's warmer where you are because it is really cold out here today. Um, so that's why I was fidgeting. I was trying to get one of my hands in my pockets. Um, but talking about the career that you're in and that you're really successful at and that you're unhappy in. If I look at my own experience, I used to be a successful project manager. I climbed the career ladder. I started at the bottom. I started as um, a project leader's assistant and slowly climbed the ladder. Not because I intended to, not because I wanted to, but it was rather something that happened to me. I am, I was a perfectionist. I wanted to do whatever that I was doing very well. And I know lots of people who have told me that they are like that as well. And every couple of years, somebody would say to me, well, Gerdy, you're doing so well. Why not move on to the next position? So I was sort of climbing the career ladder without intending to. I always thought, well, I'll do this for a little while and then I'll figure out what it is that I want to do. And over the years, I've talked to a lot of people, especially since I left that career and moved to Austria and started doing what it is that I wanted to be doing, that have told me, Geez, I wish that I had the courage to do as you did. I wish I had the, um, I knew what it is that I want to do because I know what I'm doing is not what I want to be doing. I know that what I am doing is not making me happy, but I haven't got a clue. I don't know what it is that I want to be doing. And I don't know how to figure it out. And I had that, I had that same problem. And it's not like they or I back then was um, continuously unhappy. You know, there were phases where I would go through 
being unhappy in my career then I would have be so busy I would have to do I would have so much to do that I was sort of driven to the background to the recesses of my mind until I went on a holiday or until I had a quiet conversation with a good friend and then that feeling would pop up again and I would be like God, I wish I knew what it was that I want to do. I knew, I wish I knew more than just that this is not what I want to be doing. But how do I figure that out? Well, it took me years actually, and it's, and that's why I'm doing this video right now because I was reminded of the fact that um, we just started a new year and it's already February. And for some people, for some of you, you may have thought of um, this year as being the year that you're going to figure out what it is you want to do. This is not going to be another year of you not knowing what it is you want to be doing. This is going to be the year where you finally figure out what is truly important to you, how you want to live your life, what your trail in life is going to look like instead of staying on a trail that somebody else has picked for you. So. You are finally going to conquer that mountain that is called what is it that I want to do with the rest of my life. Now that can be a daunting task and um, because it's daunting sometimes it's just hard to start and that's where somebody like I come in. You know I can I figured out how to draw my own life map. I figured out how I want it to blaze my own trail and that's what I'm doing I right now <laughs> I am freezing because it is really beautiful look at this the sun is slowly setting look I'll just you, you know you have to see this this was my office for today look at this look at these gorgeous mountains and uh, I know I, I tell people all the time but sometimes people ask me why did you move to the mountains and I'm sorry but if you look at this you know who has to ask this is so much better an office than anything that I used to sit in uh, any meeting I used to sit in before I moved to Austria so anyways so I figured out how to draw my own um, life map and I figured out how to reset my mind and I figured out what I needed to blaze my own trails what skills and what tool I needed to blaze my own trail in life and not only that I also figured out how to help other people do that other people do that how, how to help them figure out what it is they want out of life what their life map is supposed to look like and how they can blaze their own trails as well so if you want to learn more about that uh, why not contact me for a consultation call I can um, we can then talk about what that might look like for you and how I can help you so for now start facing that mountain start blazing your own trail and take your first step onto that trail you can do it I know you can um, and I hope to be able to be allowed to help you while you do it. Have a great day wherever you are. Callista, if you're still watching, I hope it's warmer where you are. I know there's great skiing in California, but I also know there's areas where it's really nice and warm right now. I'm going to ski down the mountain and enjoy my final run of the day. Have a great one, everyone. Go blaze your own trail and most of all, go there greatly. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.